Teagan. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Chichester is home to a vibrant rural economy worth over £1 billion to the area. It also employs 9,000 people, which is the largest single employer by sector. We have a major growing environment, and this is due to our wonderful environment, our weather, our sunshine, and mostly our proximity to the coast, meaning we have 10% more light than any other area in the UK which boosts growing conditions. As an MP, I've had the opportunity to visit many of these businesses and see what 21st century farming looks like. In many cases, it is not what I had imagined. Much of the growing occurs indoors in a highly controlled and precisely monitored environment, ensuring crops are grown efficiently, sustainably and to the best quality. Some growing practices involve moving crops from nursery grounds, whether in glass houses or polytunnels, to open fields or other larger glass houses. However, what is clear is that each of these growing cycles are all agricultural and should be classified as such. The Tunnel Tech versus Reeves case brought to light a legal anomaly in how the Valuation Office Agency assesses business rates in agri agriculture. In doing so, this case broke nearly 100 years of agricultural business rates exemption for nurseries. Many businesses in my area are therefore pleased that the Government has brought forward this Bill to amend existing legislation and rightly deliver on their commitment to ensure nurseries are treated as agricultural buildings. Speaking to the West Sussex Growers Association ahead of this debate, I was told of growing concern in light of the Tech Tunnel versus Reeve case for future assessments by the Valuation Office Agency on other agricultural buildings. There is now concern that historical exemptions on ancillary buildings for packing, offices or energy production, for example, may come under threat, and I would ask the Minister to clarify this. One company in my constituency, for example, that grows 10% of the peppers sold in the UK, packs all of its produce on site in an adjacent building to the glass houses where the pe peppers are grown. Similarly, across the horticulture and agricultural industry, businesses have de developed sustainable energy production by using their waste to produce energy in biomass boilers, for example. The 2015 uh, Court of Appeal decision has created a significant amount of concern for the wider industry, and so I'm pleased that the Government has taken such swift action to rectify this issue and ensure its implementation is retrospective. This has sent a clear message of support to the industry that has been well received, with the NFU Deputy President saying, this is a significant victory for nursery growers and brings them in line with other farm businesses and providing essential certainty for the future, which we welcome. This bill will ensure that agricultural land and buildings are not liable for a property tax which could otherwise have a significant impact on the cost of farming and produce, and we must make sure this remains the case. I fully support this bill as it works towards the Government's commitment of a productive and sustainable agricultural sector which is so important to rural economies like Chichester and will become increasingly important as we leave the European Union. Thank you. Matt Warman.